Hey guys, what is going on? I hope you all are doing well today. Elliot here and welcome back to another episode of The Fragrance Well. So today we are going to talk about warm weather scents in the cold. Uh, someone requested that I do a subject matter like this in a previous video. It's obviously not a super unique topic. Other people have certainly done it, but I have not done one yet. So this is my first time kind of tackling this subject matter. A Little bit of transparency because I live in central Florida uh, I tend to experience wearing cold weather scents in the warm or in the heat more so than I do wearing warm weather scents in the cold. But we do get our share of somewhat cool weather here. It certainly has been dropping a lot more so lately. So I kind of have to take advantage of that cooler weather that does come here to wear my cold weather scents in actual cold more frequently without me having to go out of town. But I still definitely can experience this subject matter more so uh, if it is in the summertime we got obviously some very well air conditioned buildings here so you can almost sometimes get that effect even then but that's neither here nor there this is one of those subject matters where you know we offer guidelines on when to wear certain fragrances but there ultimately are no rules so you can certainly wear a warm weather scent when it is cold out and i've got eight of them here that i think can demonstrate what that actually is very well. So before we get started, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and remember to hit that bell icon and enable notifications so you can be notified when I upload new content. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so real quick, what is the effect I think you get when you're wearing a warm weather scent when it is colder out? You almost get like this frosted or chilling effect with the fragrance, assuming it does have notes that kind of are meant to kind of reproduce that a refreshing aspect when it is hot outside. It's just amplified when it's cold. So first off, we got one from Hermes. This is Terre d'Hermes Eau Givre. Terre d'Hermes Eau Givre. This is one of my favorite summertime fragrances that has that refreshing aspect. Pretty much smells like grapefruit juice. Uh, there's also some vetiver, a little bit of spice from some black pepper, and there's also a good amount of juniper in here. Now for me, when it's you're, when you're wearing this and the air is cooler, and that's whether it's cold outside or you're in a very well air conditioned building, the juniper comes out a little bit more. You almost get a little bit more of that gin-like smell, but I wouldn't say it's boozy. But with the cold in this, it's just going to have this iced over feeling. It's like you have uh, taking that grapefruit juice and made it as cold as possible without freezing it and you're drinking it that way I think that's kind of the effect you can kind of recreate with this one if it's really really cold out when you're wearing it So once again from Hermes, this is Terre d'Hermes Eau Givre All right, next one coming from the house of Guerlain. We've got Ohm Eau de Parfum Guerlain Ohm Eau de Parfum If you are familiar with the scent, it pretty much opens up with kind of a mojito accord, so to speak. Not the most realistic smelling, not the best representation of mojito, but a mojito nonetheless. There's peppermint, rum, and like some lime in this. I love lime openings and fragrances. So with this, when it's cool out, you're definitely gonna just kind of amplify the refreshing aspect of a very ice cold mojito is the best way I would describe it. After that, it's mostly floral and uh, woody on the dry down. So the magic of this one is the opening with that mojito vibe that this fragrance gives off. But in the cold, I think it's just kind of like an iced over, almost chilled mojito or something of that nature. Once again, from the house of Guerlain, this is Ohm Eau de Parfum. All right, next one coming from the house of Roja Parfums, we've got Elysium Parfum. Roja Parfums Elysium Parfum. Now, most people, are either familiar with or just simply have the uh, Parfum Cologne version of this fragrance. And I can understand why, it's obviously a lot cheaper. But there's also this aspect of this one that is a lot richer and a little bit more woody and thicker than the original, uh, I'm sorry, than the uh, Parfum Cologne version. And you can almost say that that one is actually better for warmer weather than this one is. So with this one, I think when it's really cool out, number one, I think the refreshing aspect of it might come out a little bit more and you also might have a little bit more of a balanced experience with the woodiness that this one has. Also, it's very aromatic, has a little bit of a fruity vibe, but it's pretty much considered a year round scent. You pretty much can rock this at any time, but I would say you would experience it a little bit different uh, in the cooler uh, months than you would in the warmer months. So once again, from Rocha Parfums, this is Elysium Parfum Pour Homme. All right, next up coming from the house of Mancera, this is Aoud Lemon Mint. 
Mansara, Oud, Lemon, Mint. Now there are many people who don't really think of this as a summer fragrance because it is quite rich, it's quite dense, it is very, very sweet, has a little bit of weight to it, a little bit of depth to it. So it's almost thought of as a being a better spring and fall time fragrance, particularly early fall. But I think there's enough richness in this where this would actually work really well in the cool anyway. And also you get the kind of same effect. You get that icing frosted effect with it. You know, you have the lemon and the mint combination uh, that gives that refreshing aspect. So obviously the cold should kind of give that more of a chilling uh chilling experience if you will and then there's a lot of vanilla and leather a little bit of oud in here it's kind of medicinal and in the background but it's definitely there so there are heavier notes to this fragrance that actually i think could make it work nicely with a cooler uh temperature anyway but you know you just don't think of it as a cool weather scent traditionally because it is still rather fresh and rather uh lemony and bright and citrusy along with the sweetness that it has but this is definitely one that i think would give a interesting wear in the cooler weather once again from ansara oud lemon mint all right next up got one from the house of creed this is aventus creed aventus so you know hey everybody knows about aventus but i think this one actually works really well with this subject matter because even though this is a scent dna most people just kind of call it year round and forget about it and i don't disagree if you were to break it down and apply it to a season it's more of a spring early fall fragrance maybe early summer at best the smokiness of this could be a bit much for the uh, highest of heat in the summertime which is probably why they came out with the aventus cologne flanker it is a lot fresher and a lot brighter and frankly perfect for those summer temps but with the cooling temps there's enough uh, of that freshness in here to really give it that kind of iced over feeling in my opinion you got the bergamot in here which is very forward you got the apple like accord in here the bur the pineapple as well giving uh more of a freshness to this and also when you got the birchy uh smoky birch wood and the uh ambergris that's in here that uh makes up the base of the fragrance smell should smell awesome in the cool weather you know it may not be the uh thickest or heaviest choice may not project as much when it's really really cold out but it should give you that kind of iced over feeling and give you that warm weather experience in the cold which will change it from how it would wear in the typical warm temperatures that would probably work best for this so once again from the house of creed this is aventus all right next up got one from the house of dior we've got dior home sport this is the 2021 version dior home sport 2021 version a very bright fragrance. One of the most refreshing, most kind of bright and brisk nose piercing fragrances in my collection. Now this one I actually wore recently in the cold. And uh, let's just say that that iced over kind of frosted feeling really gets amplified when you smell this when it is very, very cold, whether you're indoors or outdoors in my opinion. It's also very heavy on some spice, a lot of pink pepper in this. So that kind of helps amplify that effect as well. But there is some LME resin in this. There's some incense and dried woods that really honestly just makes it smell very pleasant even in the cool weather anyway. And it helps it to linger around a little bit. It doesn't just kind of disappear. So this one makes for a very interesting wear in the cold weather. Now I still think it works best in the heat, but definitely an interesting wear for cold weather as i said so once again from the house of dior this is dior home sport the 2021 version all right next up we got a couple from the house of nishane first one is going to be hasavat nishane hasavat a glorious warm weather fragrance but you'll definitely get that iced over frosted effect with the juicy pineapple and bergamot and lemon accords that are in the opening of this fragrance and honestly with the oak moss that's in here i think oak moss smells equally as good in warm weather and cold weather it just comes off a little bit differently and uh, i think with this with the oak moss that's in here when it's a little cooler out and it's just gonna smell magical it's just gonna smell like you're in a forest when it's cold or after it's snowed in my opinion and you'll definitely get that iced over cooling frosted effect with the juicy citrus that this fragrance has in the opening or the top of the fragrance so once again from the house of nishane this is hasabat all right and finally another one from the house of nishane this is wulong cha nishane wulong cha so wulong cha is probably the most refreshing fragrance i have in my cabinet 
uh, in terms of it just having this cooling, relaxing, refreshing nature to it. I pretty much uh, liken it to smelling like orange tea, but iced over. And I think in the cold, it's just gonna become even more iced over. It's gonna be even more cooling, more icy, more refreshing, more frosted, if you will. And even though there are really no kind of heavy accords in this fragrance, it somehow has the ability to just stick around and linger. You just smell it all day long. I'd be willing to bet it, even on a really, really cold day, you'll still get that effect from this fragrance. So once again, from the house from the shiny, this is Wulong Cha. All right, guys, we have reached the end of this list. That was eight fragrances that I think can make for an interesting wear in the cold weather, even though they are warm weather scents. Feel free to let me know down in the comments what is a warm or hot weather fragrance that you have or like to wear when it is cool out. Let me know how the wearing experience changes for you. So I appreciate you guys watching all the way until the end. Remember to be well and smell well, and I'll see you in the next episode of The Fragrance Well. Have a good one.